from Train Simulator Classic. That's right, it's no longer 2022, it's Train Simulator Classic now. Uh, and we're back on the North London li North London and Goblin lines, driving the Class 172 and getting the 378. But before we get into that, make sure you like and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to get to 100 followers and affiliated, so if you do follow me, please watch me live. It really helps me out. <coughs> uh, I am still ill, so if I do cough or anything, I do apologise. Uh, and uh, But check out the channel and other social medias as well for other stuff posts you might also enjoy. But check that out all after all after you watch this uh, episode. So today's episode, we are going to be doing... That's number five. There we go. Uh, we're going to be doing three. Uh, so it should last about two and a half hours in total. So we have the 172, uh, a turbulent shift. Uh, 172 again, 45 minutes. And then uh, 378 down here, only 25 minutes. So this is the first one. Uh, a turbulent shift, 60 minutes long, autumn, stormy. Um, right, in a thick, in the thick of the stormy morning rush hour, you'll be uh, taking this passenger service from Barking to Upper Holloway. You will then proceed to take the empty unit to Wilston Depot for maintenance. Check a delayed service has been passed in front of you, so keep an eye on the signals. So that's a hint of, um, um, just to go slow, I think. Just to go slow. So yes, we're back on this. It's been a three-week break. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, I did stream uh, yesterday. So that will be uploaded before this one gets uploaded to YouTube. And it should be uploaded right now while I'm streaming this at this present time. So you can go check out my other videos that I also do. Um... Here we go, we're in. Oh, looking at these. All right, good morning, driver. It's time for rush hour. You'll be taking this passenger service from Barking to Upper Holloway. You'll then proceed to take the empty unit to Wilson Depot for maintenance check. Please allow passengers to board. Please allow passengers to board when you're ready before departing. Okay, so that one forward. Uh, right one. Lights are up here. I want the night ones on. Uh, wipers should be down here, right? Slow. Yeah. Okay, so we're at Barking at the moment. Obviously, this no longer runs on the Barking thing anymore. Like I said in the previous episode, three weeks ago, it's now the new Class 710. <laughs> And obviously, it no longer terminates at Barking anymore either. It terminates at Barking Riverside, but it's got further down. Okay, power three. Right, so Woodgrange Park is the next platform. The next station, I should say. Um, we've got four minutes to get there. Quite a bit of time. We can go power four now, I think. It is very dark. It is very dark. It's taking us off. Less than one. C2C in London underground is here, they're pushing it down and that's the city line. That's our signal right there, it's just changed the nice yellow, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this on power one. Obviously losing speed, but going uphill. It's a single. I'm going too fast. That's why the CTC line crosses over the underground lines. And this is the way that these guys come to the scrap. No, that's on the other side. 
side. move on power one. Number two. <laughs> Oedipus is right. Okay, we can go, we can go, we can go. Because of the, uh, because of the, 
because of the diesel. The diesel is so loud. Can you hear me now? Right, so, uh, I want to break into here. Okay, yes, yeah, so if I speak louder, it should be, you should be able to hear me then. If I speak like this... Right, uh, a bit more break, I think, maybe. Yeah, a bit more break. I'll just break one into it. The train is a diesel. This is the problem with having diesel trains, they are very loud. Stop, stop. Right. Yeah, when I'm in the station, I can get a lot quieter. Burn the train. Well, this train, thanks, well, doesn't run along this line anymore in real life, so I'm guessing the neighbours are a lot happier they have quieter trains running out and down. Uh, where is this train in front of us? There. It's only one stop ahead. Right, we have to wait again. Wait again for the train. Yeah, but we have to wait at the red signal, obviously. Ah, oh, there we go, now we can go. Power three, let's get out of here. You've never played Train Simulator before. Well, the game, the basic simulator of the game is you drive brakes. Power five, let's get some power, let's get moving. Let's get going. Power six. Yeah, the signal's after the station. So basically, once we get a green or yellow signal, we can go very safe to the station, no problem. Full power. don't like trains. Well, these are my most popular videos, actually. Train simulator. There we go. Nice. A lot more quiet now the engine is off. other games where like it's, it's not like a first person shooter where you get attacked nothing's gonna jump out at me or
Wow, the back walls don't open, but the S marker is there. How does that work? goes to emergency every time the brakes on the doors open right we've got straight away proceed signal uh the next station is Leighton. after Leighton is then Walthamstow right off we go Power four. Mm, well, there's a few games I play where there's not trains involved or anything scary. But I do like playing simulated games. This is obviously a simulator. I don't, I don't know. I like my right realistic games. Sims 4, um, that's one of my first games, uh, that playlist, but I kind of, it kind of got uh, a little bit boring after a while. I was running out of stuff to do with it. make your sim's life crazy well i mean i tried to make my sim have a better life than what i do uh and he did um, but then after when he was old and had a family and, and had the house and everything there was, there was just nothing else to do well it's more interesting than my life Here comes the noise. This this video is going to be horrible for people watching it on like their headphones. Constantly turning it up, down, up, down, up, down. See, for me in my headphones, the game isn't that loud. Um, but I can see the volumes uh, there. But I hope everyone can hear me quite nicely now. Right, the next station is Walthamso Queen's Road. We will get to 45, that would be great. I mean, I can't do nothing about the game being loud. But if you can hear me over the game, that's good. Okay, to be careful now, because we're going to go downhill. So I've got to be very careful.
I should be louder. I should be louder than it right now. We are breaking. We are going down. The train will be a lot quieter. Um, I'll check the action. I'll check the settings here. I'll break three. I'll check the settings while we're stopped. check the settings right options no. yeah there's nothing i can do while i'm here because you can't do the volume settings while in the game you can only do them in the main menu which is uh yeah very annoying The only way I can edit something is by doing it like this. Hold on a second. Um. There we go. Well. Oh. There we go. So it should be quieter now. So you can hear me over it. You like chocolate? Who doesn't like chocolate? Right, hopefully that is better. There we go, yeah. I've edited the stream uh, sound, so I should come out louder. We have got a proceed signal. Uh, the next station is uh, Black Horse Road. Uh, then South Tottenham. We've got quite a lot, actually. We are terminating at Upper Holloway, which isn't too many stations away, actually. Right, full power. Let's go. Yes, but this is England, and it rains all the time. I think the other two scenarios I'm also doing are also rain or snow. Let's take the power off. Um, just do break one from here. Yeah, snows, yeah. Or sleet. Alright, break, 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 break. I should need to go break three. That's where we're meant to stop at the S. Ooh, as long as we stop before there, that's fine. There we go, that's fine. Right, we've got a 20 warning. Um, I actually can't see the next signal. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be single yellow by the time we get to it. Why? I've got perfect score so far. At the moment, I'm actually doing very, very, very well. Right, power four. Let's go. Are we going uphill? I think we're going uphill. I sound like I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I I do have an idea what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I am doing. While I'm doing it.
Right, yes, it is a yellow signal, so that means we can go full throttle. We've got a 20 coming up, which means we have to brake for the 20. Uh, when do we brake for the 20? We'll brake at the signal. There you go. Slow down to the 20. Okay, brake a bit more. There we go, right, 20 mile an hour now. It's such a weird little 20 mile an hour section. And it's uphill, which means we've got to keep power on to keep going, but then take it off so we don't speed. Still not getting my train. Okay. I had to keep drinking loads of water because my throat keeps going dry talking this much. <clears throat> okay, power, full power, let's go. Hopefully this signal is green or yellow. No, it's a red, 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 it's a red. It's a red, so we've got a wait here. You like it when your water doesn't taste of anything. Okay, a bit less power. I don't want to get wheel slip here. Right, so the next stop is South Tottenham. We don't have to worry about signals. We get to 20 away. 0 0.2 away, I should say. And then we'll break. We are going slightly uphill, which will help as well. Put brake two on. The cat's annoying. I like how you're talking about anything but the game. Right. South Tottenham. You don't like the game, why would I talk about it? Right, okay, fair enough. Well, my viewers might like the game that watch this afterwards, so I have to talk about the game. Uh, right, Haringey is next. After Haringey, Crouch Hill, then Upper Holloway, and then Hampstead. So we still have... One, hold on, one, two, three, three more stations after this. We have a proceed signal over there, which means we can go full speed, no problem. <laughs> you must like the game if you're, if you're still here watching. Right, power four. Let's get some speed. Come on. Ah, uh, you must like the game. Right, power five. Right. Uh, over a mile to Haringey Green Lanes. Uh, 
over a mile and I have just over a... No, I have two minutes, two minutes. I thought that was a minute. No, I have two minutes to get there. Okay, it's a green, which means we can go straight there, no problem. First green signal of our journey. I have watched streams even without knowing what the game is. Well, this game is Train Simulator. It says in the title. It's very easy to understand. <laughs> you don't like green. Oh, almost sped then. That was close. Green is good. Green means we can continue. Yellow means caution, as we got here. It means get ready to stop. Uh, and red means please do not pass. Well, do not pass, not please. Do not pass. Uh, we should get here on time. I've got a minute to get there. I've got to be careful of the speed. What? That is not what green means. Green does not mean life is scary. I haven't played this in so long. But I think I'm driving this train really well, to be honest. Um, no mistakes so far. I should take it off and just let it naturally slow down a bit and get in. I don't know if I'm going to be on time here. Yep. Caution. No, green means everything is going well. Yeah, we're not on time. But as long as I stop before... 59. It's good. Keep stopping. Okay. Ah, see, I, I hate how it goes to emergency every time. And I have to keep resetting it. Green is definitely for that. Right, we've got a yellow signal in front of us, which means the train... Is at this next station ahead. Because um, we've got a red here. Hopefully by the time we actually get past this signal out of here, that will change to yellow. Right, here we go. We're ready to depart. Power three. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's changed to green, so that's changed to yellow. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that logic. Yellow is like when you ignore the problem. I'm pretty sure most people, if they've watched this and they are, they do drive cars. I'm pretty sure everyone's done this at one point, where you've you've seen a yellow light and you just can't be bothered to stop, and so you just keep going and hope for the best that you make it through the yellow light. It's, it's one of those where it's like, oh, it's either you are or aren't going to make it at that point. Right, we can get to this station, no problem. Crouch Hill. There's the warning. I wish they won this game. They actually updated this route, though. They, um, they made it all electrified and they did get the 710s running on here. I wish they also put the Lee Valley lines in. Um, they also use the 710s. They have the Lee Valley lines slightly on here anyway. Obviously, at South Tottenham here, they have the um, Seven Sisters built in. Or they have Seven Sisters built in. Does that bit. And then out of Liverpool Street, they have all the way, I think, to Hackney Downs all built. So, 
And on another London Underground route, that London Overground route we have, there has London, there's Hackney Downs built. So you can actually connect all of them through and have it all the way through to Seven Sisters, no problem. Um, wait, what? When you drive a car and you see a yellow light, you are the annoying driver who is too scared and uh, to just go, so you stop. Oh, I need to break. Break three. Slow down. <laughs> Doors open. Right, I went out of Crouch Hill. Yeah, it's it's like um when you drive a car, for example, if you there's there's times you definitely know you're gonna make it through the yellow light. Because you you're that close. Say you're like within fifty meters of it, you know you're gonna make it. Then there's ones where it's like it's changed to yellow, and you're like, oh, it, it it might be so close. And then there's obviously times where you're like, oh, I'm definitely not gonna make it. Right, power three. Let's get out of here. It's different with trains because obviously with trains, yellow yellow doesn't change to well it it can change to red red at any point if an emergency happens. But you, like in the game scenario here, it won't do that. It will just stay yellow, so you know you can go through it. There's no risk of oh I might not make it. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, oh, you, you um you can't accelerate. So you're just hoping for the best. Right, I think we're going uphill here. We are, yeah. Then it's 55. Yeah, Upper Holloway is where we're terminating this train. Then from here we've got to go to the depot. So, um, it is a proceed signal, yellow. Break step two from here. Nice graffiti. Come on, stop. Yeah, there's loads of sort of routes that I've done previously on this game that I would like to be in, uh, updated um, to have the newer trains running. I know they just added the 700s on to the Midland Mainline we did before this. Um, so that's that's obviously updated. But then this here, I'd like the 710s added on. 710s running on this route with this electrified. Also, the Lee Valley lines I think would be a good addition. Uh, putting the new 720s onto the Great Eastern Main Line now. I'm moving the 360s onto the Midland Main Line and doing scenarios on there. Right, we can go. Obviously with their new purple liveries. Because they're already in the game. Just make it a purple livery. 4 99 pack. Put it on there. Done. You move something and voila. Yes. Right. I don't know if we've got a green here or not. Or a yellow. If we've got a yellow, we can go through.
We've got a green. We've got a green. We can go full throttle. Let's go. Right, into the 40. And then we've got to slow down for 20. Just make sure we don't speed over 40. Alright, break one from here. There's no timings to go through. Oh, there is timings actually to go through these. So we've got to be careful. <laughs> At 10.30, ETA 11.33. I'm guessing that's cause, because the train's in front of us. Right, through this 20 section. Yeah, it is a steep curve here. I'm guessing the train in front of us has stopped at the station. That's why we can't go through it yet. I oh, know there it is, yes. Right, that's Gospel Oak there. So we're now going past the slow train in front of us. Um. There is something, something is my favourite. Mm. Okay, power two. We are going slightly uphill. I've got to make sure. Did I know that Christmas songs are amazing? I'm actually, you know what? I find Christmas songs quite annoying. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I find them really annoying. Like, some are good, but most of them are just annoying. I mean, yes, I'm pretty annoying. I don't know, there's, there's like, there's probably only four or five Christmas songs I actually like. The rest of them are just really annoying. Right, we've gone through here a bit late, but still maximum points. Powering through. Getting up, gonna get up to 45 mile an hour. I mean, we're predicting to go through late through this one as well. So, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, power 2. Power 3. Still losing speed. Power 4. There we go. So, I've now got a balance between power 3 and power 4. You listen to them from August. What? What? You're mad. Right, we're ahead of schedule now. So 
so I can probably just keep it on power three all the way. In the UK, it's not dark and cold until about October. When the clocks go back. Or forward. When the clocks change, that's when it turns dark. But otherwise, yeah, sep September is still like a summer month for us. No, in uh, between... I say October and February, it is dark and cold. Like middle of October, from middle of October through to the end of February, it's, it's always dark and cold. Oh wow, actually. Oh no, I'm behind schedule again. I need to speed up. How did I go back? Yeah, because I was going a bit too slow, that's why. Hold on, just catching up with time here. Ooh. Break. I got my, I got six for speeding then. Right, I have to brake here because I think there's a red signal in front. Uh, it is. Right, we've got to wait. I don't even know what dark and cold means. We regularly get minus temperature. Well, not minus 20. But we do go in the minus here. The UK's climate is the worst. Because we, we have... We go into minus like 5 in the winter. And then we're, we're 30, 35 to 40 degrees in the summer. So it's either cold or hot. There's no, there's no, I don't think there's no such thing as spring or autumn anymore in this country. We hate polar, polar night. To be honest, though, it must be nicer out there with all the snow. I'd rather have snow than rain all the time. Why can't I go? What are we waiting for? It's 
to get closer to the signal. Don't know what we're waiting for here. I honestly, I'd rather have snow. Snow is my favourite type of weather. I do want that. Uh, where are we? I don't know if we're waiting for this. Stop at Wilson Junction Platform 2. So we're stopping here, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, we need to travel across this line, which that train was on. And that train's going to come onto this line here. And then go across it. Okay, yeah, so we've got to wait. We're waiting for this train here. We're waiting for this one here. Because it's going to go up here, cross onto our line, which we're on here, and then it's going to cross here onto this line here. So we've got to, yeah. So once that train's crossed, then we can go. Too much snow, nowhere to put it. I mean, I just constantly have snowball fights. And make loads and loads of snowmen. Like, I love to ski. So, if I'd lived where there's a few little mat hills or mountains or whatever, I'd have my skis and just to ski. Skiing is great. There's the train that we're waiting for, the 378. Let's put on power one. Ready to go. There you go, it's crossing over. Obviously, it'll have warmer clothing. Right, come on, change. <sighs> really? What else are you waiting for? There we go. Right, 35 and then 15. So we're not going to get to 35 by the 35 mile an hour speed limit anyway. So don't need to worry about that. No worries, princess. Have a good night. I do like the snow. Snow's great. Right, 15. We are going to go downhill. I've got to... Um, bye. I've got to uh, watch out for the speed here to not... Uh, not go over the speed limit. So from Wilson Junction, obviously, we, we've got to reverse then. Into the depot. Uh into train care yeah at 25 so i haven't got much time to turn around oh, break one isn't really slowing me down Yeah, we're going. 
going less steep downhill now, so. That should be okay. Uh, yeah, 30 and 15 doesn't really matter. We're on underground lines here. Because we've got fourth rail. Just naturally slow down going in. Right. Uh, we've got to reverse, so... Guessing we've got to go this. Yeah. Right, it's approved. Let's go. It said approved. It said approved. <sighs> so that's broken. Right. Well, I'm not doing that again. That's clearly broken because it said approved. It didn't go through. I should have saved it before we did that just to make sure. But yeah, that did say approved. <sighs> well, that didn't go right, did it? Uh, right. Well, this will be the next one. <sighs> uh, winter foggy. 172 again. Uh, so we're doing one class of two. Track work east of South Tottenham has taken over the Goblin Line this evening. And a special timetable has been put in place. You'll be in charge of this passenger service as far as South Tottenham before heading back in the opposite direction to Wilsden Depot. That's really annoying, that one. That, that's a, that one's really annoyed me. But, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll start this one. I got the approved. I got the approved twice and it still didn't. Um, let me just get this off from there. Oh. Oh, the game has crashed. It won't let me click anything. My actual... I don't know what's happened here. But I think Steam has crashed. I actually can't click anything. Um... Hmm. I might leave it there, this like as today's episode because the whole computer has decided to, yeah, the game crashed, which has caused Steam to crash. Hmm. Um. Right. Anyways, uh, I'll call it here for today's episode, and it is a short one. It is only an hour long, which means the next one, next episode, will be the rem the other, the other one. The other scenario and the 378. Um, 
it's, it never goes right on this game for me, does it? It never goes right. If you have enjoyed, though, please like and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to get to 100 followers and affiliated. So please watch me live and help me out. Uh, check out the link in the description below for the playlist. See the previous episodes or the future ones, depending when you're watching this. And check out my channel on other social medias for other stuff that I post that you might also enjoy. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.